Good morning. <coughs> Is it from Zetster's lab? Well, another beautiful day. Winter's past. Summer is here. So another day. Let's view each day as a separate life. Oh, I love that saying. I mean, sometimes at night or at the end of the day, I really start to feel I had it. This day is too much for me. This life is too much for me. I just cannot cope anymore. I had it. And then, you know, I just... This truth just comes to me. Go and sleep. You don't have to do anything now. Just go. Just rest. Just go and sleep. And tomorrow when you wake up, you will have everything that you need to live victoriously. That's the thing. To live victoriously and abundantly through that day. Today all our needs are met. I mean, this is a crazy thing for the mind, the ego, to understand. Today all my needs are met. Because when you look at your life and you see everything and you see, I need this, I need that, I don't have this, I don't have this, I want this, I whatever. This, today, all my needs are met, sounds stupid and crazy. But you know, when we start to live out of the abundant life, that is in me and in you and in everybody else. As soon as we start to live out that out of that abundant life, and we start to our eyes get open to the truth of, of the abundant life in us, we start to find our way back home. Let's call it that our way back home to that place heaven right now right here and that doesn't mean when other people look at us our earthly lives that who oh, they they rich they beautiful they thin they've got the most wonderful spouse and kids and blah 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 because that's not real I mean when you look at every person in this world if you really really are going to walk in their shoes you will see their struggles and their masks of how they just put these masks on so that everybody else might think they've got this perfect life but that's not true the only perfect life is in us the abundant life that is in us that we have access to right here that right now what does it mean that all our needs are met that we are in need of nothing. That we have abundance now. That we are in heaven now. Well, to me it's experiencing right now, right here, peace and joy, real peace and real joy in the midst of what's going on in this world. I mean, people are really in such fear. They are dying all around us from fear. And that is the scary part when then this verse comes up. Do not fear. 
because the enemy, that's fear, will come in, steal, kill and destroy what? The life. Not the earthly life. Not your earthly life, but the life that is in you. The abundance that is in you. The enemy of fear will steal that. And then this is this other thing that I want to share. I mean, many people say, I believe. I'm a Christian or whatever. And I believe that even if thousands die next to me, I will not die. But you know, that doesn't mean anything in the physical. It's all a spiritual thing. And what it really means is, yes, in the, we're in the midst of a worldwide pandemic. And really, fear is killing the life, the abundant life, peace and joy, power, love, to live your life abundantly now. Fear is killing that life in just about everybody around us. But, you know, the awesome thing is the life, the abundant life, our spiritual father, the life in us says, even though thousands may fall next around you during this war, what is happening in the natural realm, you will be safe. And that you will be safe means you will be able to experience peace and joy in the midst of what's happening all around you. It doesn't mean I'm not going to be, become sick or I'm going to not lose a loved one or Whatever, what it means is, I will still be able to experience the abundant life, peace and joy. And it doesn't mean happiness. It means the peace to cope with whatever you may find yourself in now, presently, today. And um, that's heaven. That's how we can experience heaven and the abundant life right here, right now. Even in the midst of a worldwide pandemic and whatever it may be, and war and terrible things that's happening all around us. And those terrible things, it's not gonna, that doesn't mean terrible things bad things or hard things or tough things, storms, whatever you want to call it, it's not going to happen to me. Because you know when we really, really start to walk in the, in the spirit, in the abundant life, we also realize that in order to do that, we need to do not judge. Do not eat of that tree of the knowledge of good and evil where you start to play God and you start to decide what is right and what is wrong, what is good and what is bad, what is good and what is evil. I mean, right in the beginning, the life, the spirit, our spiritual father tells us, the life that is in us, do not eat of that tree because the moment you start to eat of that tree where you start to play God and you start to decide what is right and wrong and good and bad and evil and whatever, then you're going to lose the life. Not going to die physically. You're going to lose that oneness that, that is there forever and ever. You're going to lose it when you start to judge things. Let's say I get sick. Or my body be gets sick. Call it that. What, what am I supposed to do? Do not judge. 
Do not look at what is happening in the natural, in your flesh, as good or bad. It's happening. You're not feeling well. So that's it. It's not good. It's not bad. It just is what it is. So just turn inwards to the life in you. Become still. Look at this and just say, oh well, spiritual father, just you're in control. The life in me, you the life in me, you're in control. So just do what needs to be done. Lead me, guide me, you my provider. In you, in our relationship, all is well now. You don't fear, oh, is this COVID? Oh, is this cancer? Oh, is this going to kill me? And because you had it previously, a th sickness, now you think this is the end. This is cancer. This breast cancer is going to kill me. Whatever. Experiencing heaven now means whatever is happening in the natural with me, with others, don't judge it as good or bad. Just look at it. Observe it. And just turn inwards, knowing all is well. Life, I'm g I have life. The abundant life is who I am. It's in me. I'm going to live forever. But not is it. This flesh, this is it. It's going to be manifested in this realm up to a point. And then one day when my time's up, time, no, something like that. Not, nothing like time and space in the kingdom of heaven in the abundant life but when my time is up for this manifestation I'm gonna go whether it is through COVID or when I'm asleep or in a motor car accident or Whatever it might be, when it's time for me to leave this and go back to my being only spirit without this manifestation, then I'm going to go. But this manifestation isn't me. This manifestation is just how the life, the abundant, unconditional love and life in me wants to manifest in this realm. This is not the same as you. You look different. You're from a different culture. You're from a different color, whatever it might be, in a different country. And but this we're in spirit, the same. And in spirit, we're going to live forever and all our needs are met. And the minute we start to live out of the spirit, these things in this realm is no longer going to upset us. We're not going to fear. We're not, not going to listen to the lies that's we're not going to fear the manifestations that's happening in this realm any longer because we're not going to fear death any longer. What was, I think, the last thing or whatever Jesus said, the last thing that you need to overcome is fear or death, death. So when I realize that when this is gone, I'm still going to live forever, but not is it. I was not going to talk about this. I had a total different message. But I mean the last couple of days, so deep, deep in me, just that thing that says thousands will fall next to you, but fear not, you will be fine. I just had this desire to explain that. It's not physical. The whole Bible, the whole truth is not physical. 
it's all spiritual and it's all about the fight the war the struggle in you in me the struggle between the life in me the abundant life that's the same as in my source my spiritual father that I mean I can only quote Jesus because I grew up in Christianity but only now I'm starting to understand his message he said as I am so are you in this world the same life that's in me is in you the same life that's in me and my spiritual father our father is in you there's no difference I'm starting to see that and that life is the eternal life that's gonna live forever and ever or whatever we've always been that eternal life and that life we've got what we need to live victoriously through this realm when we start to live out of that life by trusting and surrendering our egos minds will emotions whatever when we start to totally surrender that die to that and start to live out of that abundance that is us it's already in us that's the only way where we can experience heaven now peace and joy and power and love in the midst of anything anything listen to me anything that's happening in this realm do I always experience that no because oh gosh so many times my ego is just like coming alive again just taking over and I fear and anger and resentment and whatever I take things personally and blah 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 and what happens all of a sudden I'm in hell comes my peace and joy in the midst of the situation because I take took it personally and how to get back to heaven again peace and joy in the midst is let go of my will, my emotions, my life and just start once again to move back into now all my needs are met. I've got what it takes to live abundantly now. Find peace and joy in the midst of whether I'm sick, whether I'm in a terrible marriage, whether my child is struggling tremendously with something, whether my child is turning out different as I believe it should, whether my life is turning out different as whether what I wanted to turn out, all those things. When we come back to this moment where we realize today all my needs are met, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be, the life in me is willing and able and doing it leading me guiding me is the light in me that shows me the next step I need to take only the next step tells me do not worry about tomorrow because guess what tomorrow is also going to be now and now the life in me my very life is guiding me leading me providing for me what I need now coming back to the now is being in paradise heaven so have a fantastic day we talk again is it from sister's lab